Jamaica, Jamaica, sweet, sweet Jamaica, no left ya. Jamaica, Jamaica. Welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Are you planning on traveling to Jamaica anytime soon? I'm not talking about tomorrow, but maybe you are planning on traveling to Jamaica sometime in the next coming month or two months or three, six, nine months. Who knows? This is a little update for you. So, taken straight from the Gleaner, the headline was that the government reverses no testing policy for incoming travelers. What that means is, before, there was something else said, and this time, they're saying something else. Okay, the policies have changed, and rightfully so. So let's get into this because a lot of people are saying, nah, now is not the time to be traveling, SoFlo. I am not trying to go anywhere right now. No one should be thinking about traveling right now unless it is essential traveling. For instance, you have family members that depend on you that are sick. Someone might be close to passing that you want to go be around them in that time. These kind of things but should just be picking your bags up and traveling to different countries right now to include Jamaica simply because you just feel like traveling, don't do it. Hang tight is what a lot of other people are saying. Now, let's say this. Currently, I think Jamaica has about 600 cases of the coronavirus. It's getting real. And let's not forget that they are boasting a record of over 400 recoveries. So let's put that and that together. Now, my hat's off to Jamaica. Jamaica has handled it, how should I say? They have handled it very well, right? Anyhow, the government has now announced that it will test all tourists and Jamaicans arriving as of June 15th. So anybody who don't know where I go to Jamaica, make them know so when them arrive, they are going to be facing mandatory testing. I don't know if it's the testing where they, let me take my fly swatter. I don't know if it's the testing where they use the little thing and push it all the way into your nose and it goes from your nostrils all the way to the back of your brain. I don't know if it's that testing, but that's the only way I know that the testing is done. I have a question. How come recently there were not enough testing kits for the citizens of the island but suddenly there are enough testing kits to test everyone coming in visitors and Jamaicans that were abroad but want to return home right now so that's a large population of people they're going to have to test every single body we're talking in the thousands of people Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett made the disclosure at a COVID-19 press conference on Thursday afternoon. This is a reversal of an earlier announcement by the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Andrew Holness. There has been mounting opposition to the government's decision to abandon testing requirements for people arriving from June 15th onwards. So at first, let me give you all a little speed up. At first, it was said that we're going to be open June 15th. The gates are open to Jamaica. Come on in. And everybody said, no, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? Everybody come on in. Gates open suddenly. No, hold on. We want tourist dollars. We want tourist dollars. But we're not willing to die for tourist dollars. We can't find something else, though, in the meantime. Right? So... Based on that, a lot of opposition came and people are saying, oh no, we are not with that. Open up the place little by little, yes. And then when it comes to full opening, still require that everybody else be tested that comes in. If they cannot be tested, they should be denied entry. Which brings me to think, how soon are they going to be able to get the results back? Because for instance, I'm an Englishman, I'm coming in from England, yeah? And I arrive, I land in Jamaica, yeah? And here I am, boom, I get my test and I go about my business. While I'm in Jamaica, I wanna see everywhere and I wanna test out the nice chocolate body, sexy body, Coca-Cola shape girl, them down there, so I'm mixing and I'm mingling and I'm in Port Antonio one day and I'm in Kingston the next day and I'm in Mubay the next day and I'm in St. 
Thomas the next day. I'm all over the island. At what point am I going to learn if my test was a positive or a negative? And also, how are they going to be able to track me? Because surely, if tourists are paying thousands of dollars to go to Jamaica, a lot of these tourists come from some far off place where it literally costs a thousand and something dollars for their tickets alone to get to Jamaica. So if I'm paying all this hotel fee, all this plane fare, back and forth, all this, I'm not coming to Jamaica to wear a mask and huddle down in a hotel room. I'm coming to Jamaica to be Jamaica out to the fullest, right? So how are they going to track these people? How fast are they going to be getting the results back to the test? Is this an instant thing where tested, give it a second, put it on the swab, it turns green, you can go. It turns red, you're flagged for coronavirus. Please go over there, sir. We cannot allow you entry into the country at this point. Is it going to be that? Somebody talk to me in the comment section, please, because I'm kind of lost. I don't really understand what I want. All right? Moving right along now, so the article keeps on saying this now, there has been mounting opposition to the government's decision to abandon testing requirements for people arriving from June 15th onwards. At present, Jamaicans returning home are tested at the airport. That was then. Now, non-Jamaicans are expected to start arriving when the floodgates open, that means uh, airport back in action. Airlines flying in. People buy them tickets and they're coming. Non-Jamaicans are tested, are expected to start arriving June 15th. For all of you who want to know when Jamaica officially opened up, this is the announcement right here. My beautiful island opens its gates to you June 15th. In the meantime, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bissasor, sorry ma'am for butchering your name, Mackenzie, is urging people to continue practicing safety measures. The outbreak is not over, she said. And according to her, Miss McKenzie, with new population coming into the country, this is the most critical time. Can I tell you that I've also heard, and the people them out there who work in the hotel industry, please feel free to jump in the comment section and talk up the things them. Because I've heard and I've read where most people that work in the tourism industry are very worried. They're very worried. They're very worried that not just for themselves, they're because this thing you could take it from work to home, right? So if these people are not tested properly, results aren't coming back. Even if they are tested, if the results are not coming back instantly, then you run the risk of letting hundreds, if not thousands of people into the country that are suffering from this coronavirus. It's getting real. Right? Now, I want to know. I, what I want to know is, do you think that it's time to open up the, um, the island? Like, completely open up the island? We, we cannot deny that millions, hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost during this whole lockdown, shut, shut down, social distancing uh, affair that we've been going through from our tourism industry. Now, a lot of people are going to say, yo, about tourism, we don't even care about that car. We don't benefit from that really. But the truth of the matter is that we do benefit from it. Whether it's a whole lot, we would like to benefit more from it, but we cannot deny that we already do benefit from it. There are a lot of Jamaicans, everyday people like myself, yeah, who depend on their employment within that industry to feed them family, send them picnic or school, pay them bills, live somewhat of a stable life. And some of them are living quite high off the hog from, and they are able to provide jobs for other people as well. They are able to also employ other people. Come, Miguel, link up, man, come. I mean, I have the link so well. So they are, you know, we do things already. They are able to be upstanding and provide well 
for others around them and it is dependent upon this tourism industry thing. Everybody can go do something else. Somebody have to work in the tourism industry, okay? Or else there would be no tourism industry and then we would be sitting over here saying, damn, we not even have a tourism industry. Why them can't do better than this? You know, see how the island pretty. Sell the island. So, here we are. I know a lot of these people are worried sick right now because they're caught between a rock and a hard place. Damn, I gotta go to work. But they're coming in by the thousands. I read one article where it said that planes on the 15th, planes coming in will be bringing in somewhere between 5,000 and 8,000 people. That 8,000 people touching the shores of the island ASAP. 8,000 people coming from places, countries that have not done so well at containing this coronavirus and are still experiencing high death rates and high numbers of infection where they're coming from. So we're looking at Jamaica who has mastered dealing with it and has had 600 cases, but can also boast over 400 recoveries. And we're thinking to ourselves, this isn't good. This is a death sentence. This is bad. They're going to come in, they're going to spend their money. But at what cost? Hmm. Very interesting to think about. And for the dummies who, you probably never listened all the way to the end of the video anyways, but... This is not a video to deter people from going home. This is a video to encourage people to go. But keep in mind that this is a discussion, open discussion, where both sides of the coin are looked at. We want the tourism dollar them because we do benefit from it. And there are a lot of our citizens right now that are out of work and need to get back to work so them can get back to maintaining some kind of a decent, comfortable lifestyle, pay some bills, and not feel stressed out anymore and all these other things on that side. On the other side, these people are coming in in the thousands into the country. Are we properly prepared to actually test and track these people that are coming in? Or is the testing pretty much no use anyways because it takes a while for the results of that testing to come back? We don't know. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let's talk about this one. It's SoFlow TV. Big up on yourself, you know. Jamaicans at home and abroad are my place that. Sweet, sweet Jamaica.